How do I use the probe height adjustment tool for 384 well plates on the FlexMap 3D? The FlexMap 3D probe height adjustment tool was created as a substitute to adjust the sample probe height for soft bottom 384 well plates such as mylar bottom plates and filter plates. Why should I use the tool? Unlike 96 well plates, 384 well plates cannot use discs or spheres for probe height adjustment on soft bottom plates. Therefore, Luminex created the probe height adjustment tool for use with a wide range of 384 well plates. The tool provides a hard bottom surface for probe height adjustment. In order to account for the different plate geometries, for example, plate skirt height, the tool has several adjustment wells to choose from. These wells are labeled according to the difference in height caused by the space between the bottom of the well and the bottom of the plate, which ranges from 1 mm to 4.1 mm. The most common used will be the 2.8 mm and 2.9 mm wells. Here's how to use the probe height adjustment tool. First, you will need to determine the correct well depth to use on the probe height adjustment tool. This will require obtaining the well depth and plate height from the data sheet provided by the plate manufacturer for the plate you intend to calibrate the probe to. Subtract the well depth from the plate height. For example, if the plate height is 14.2 millimeters and the well depth is 11.43 millimeters, subtracting the well depth from the plate height gives us 2.77 millimeters. So this means you have to use the 2.8 mm plate height adjustment well. Look at the guide on the probe height adjustment tool. For a difference of 2.8 mm, as in this example, you select well C7. Once you determine the adjustment tool well to use, run the probe height adjustment procedure in the software. On the home page, click probe and heater under daily activities. The probe and heater tab opens. From the plate tab drop down box, select the 384 well plate layout. Change the default well selection from H12 to the number calculated previously. For this example, well C7. Click Eject to eject the plate carrier. Place the probe height adjustment tool on the plate carrier with well A1 in the marked position. Place the off-plate reagent block on the plate carrier. Verify the reservoir is empty. By default, well RB1 is selected in the reservoir section. Place a strip well provided with the calibration and performance verification kit in the off-plate reagent block. In the strip well section, SD1 is selected by default as indicated by the green pin. Click Retract to retract the plate carrier. Type a name for the plate in the plate name box. Click Auto Adjust Height. The probe automatically adjusts itself to the selected locations, and the new settings are saved automatically. Please note, the probe automatically adjusts the distance from the bottom of the well you selected on the probe height adjustment tool. What this means is once the probe reaches the bottom of the plate, it automatically backs off 0.49 millimeters to allow the sample to be aspirated. Click Eject to eject the plate holder. Remove the probe height adjustment tool and set it aside in a safe place for future use. Please keep in mind the following caution notices. Caution: Ensure that the probe height is set correctly before calibrating the system. Caution. Correct sample probe height is critical to successful calibration and sample acquisition. Problems with the sample probe may induce air bubbles to the system that can result in insufficient bead count and inhibit sample acquisition. To adjust the height of the sample probe, follow the previous steps. And finally, remember to use the probe height adjustment tool when calibrating the probe height for a 384 well mylar or filter bottom plate.